It's been a very busy August and there have been some very decent results on the field of play. In the transfer market it was very quiet as I suspected it would be. I have signed one player but I haven't strengthened in the area that I needed to which could cause problems later in the season. Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to the London Stadium, West Ham. And this is episode 2 of our Beta Save. And if you are new to the channel, then why not subscribe, like, watch, comment, help the channel to grow and help us to support the very worthwhile cause that you can see scrolling above. And it has been a very decent start to the season and August threw up some very nice results. So let's go and have a look at some of the highlights. And so that makes the schedule look very, very pretty indeed. And it, it's been a fabulous start to the season. We've had two draws and five wins. And I couldn't ask for more than that in the initial month. And that means that in terms of the Premier League, we are currently lying in fourth place. Uh, two points behind joint leaders Liverpool, Manchester City and Wolves who are all joint top with 13 points but it's very early in the season and a lot of things could happen and uh, one of the interesting things was the results in the Europa Conference League the fourth qualifying round we managed to get through but we didn't play very very well against a very very much weaker opposition but we did manage to squeeze through but the really interesting thing was was the draw and I was quite looking forward to the group stages draw because they had made such a big fuss of it in the headline video and I thought this could be quite interesting. Oh boy, was I wrong. The draw itself though, although it was pretty to begin with, once you got into the draw, it took forever. And I don't think that it's something that I'm going to look forward to, particularly as FM23 progresses and as we get into our saves, I think we're probably going to just be skipping that. It's a nice cosmetic change if you like that sort of thing. But in terms of sp speed of the game, I think I can well do without attending that draw. In terms of the transfers, nothing really much happened in the transfer window. We didn't sell anyone, nobody came in for anyone. And uh, we did though, on deadline day, we brought in Nicolas Dominguez from Bologna. We brought him in for 7.25 million. Uh, he looks like a decent player. We talked about him a bit. Uh, last time and uh, I made the decision that I would buy him we might have been short in at DM if we were going to look at using the low block tactic and to be fair I, I'm favoring the low block tactic at the moment it seems to be working better than the other one and it's certainly what we are going to do today and in terms of problems though if we go to our squad planner you can see up front we are short and in numbers. Uh, we have plenty of cover in all other areas of the pitch, but up front is a big worry. Uh, we only have the two strikers. One of them gets injured or both of them are unavailable. We have a serious problem. And it might be that I will have to start thinking about training them in a strikerless formation just in case, maybe playing someone as a false nine up there and having more attacking players involved around that false nine. I don't know, I'll have to look at that in the next couple of weeks and it might be worth training them up 
just in case. So it is going to be another busy month, not as busy as the last one, but we do kick off with two games in the conference league in September. We also have to play Liverpool today and we'll play Everton and Leeds in the Premier League. So we got a lot of games to get through in September and hopefully we're going to get some decent results as we did in August. And so I think now is a very good time to go and play Liverpool. Let's go and kick some balls. And so the team for today in this very difficult game against Liverpool is Ariola in goal with Kufal, Zuma, Ogbonna and Cresswell at the back. Rice, Suscek, Pasqueta in midfield with Bowen, Fornals and Scamacha will play up front. And we have to do something here today. I, I'm hoping that the low block will work. I don't see it as being that particularly effective, not against teams like Liverpool, but we are trying it out. And I'm going to tell them I want you to pick up where you left off last time. It was a fabulous game last time. Go out and play like that and you will do very, very well. This is going to be a tough, tough test for West Ham. We're not the greatest in terms of our squad, and we will struggle to cope with Liverpool. And uh, so far, it is Liverpool who are dominating things. We've had the better of the possession, but Liverpool are just dominating proceedings a little bit. But we do have the ball, and here's Suchek. Suchek finds Bowen. Bowen in for Skamacha. Skamacha needs to get rid of it. He's looking for Bowen. Bowen, can you do something? He's looking for Suchek. Suchek over the top, and Devan Dijk manages to defend that well. Kufel picks it up and finds Bowen. Bowen, who's been in very, very good form. Um, he didn't look too sharp in pre-season Bowen, but since the Premier League has started, he's looked in very, very good shape. But here come Liverpool, and Liverpool are driving forward. And Salah, Salah's looking for Gomez. Gomez, we need to close him down. And here is Salah, Salah in space, looking to find his left foot, that magic left foot of his. He finds Fabinho, and that's a very, very good save by Areola. And we survive that highlight. We've had... We've had highlights, chances each. There's only eight minutes gone. It's been a fairly slow start. Liverpool have looked the better team. Of course they're the better team. It's just can we defend well against them. And uh, Cresswell manages to nod that out. And so far we have defended well. Liverpool obviously are going to dominate this game. But we just need to... And there's a chance. And Darwin Nunes has scored from a set piece. And it is Liverpool 1, West Ham 0. And I do think perhaps we need to become a little bit more positive. And so I am going to go to a positive mentality. And uh, we are, I think, just letting them come at us too much. And does the low block work? Well, I don't know. But I want to go... Keep the shape, see what happens, and I'm going to go and play, try to play in a more positive way. Just G them up a little bit and say, come on, let's get further up the pitch. Let's um, play some football against Liverpool. I may even change things at half-time and go a little bit more attacking. But we have started to come into the game, and here is Ogbonna. Ogbonna's looking for Cresswell. Cresswell. He's looking to come forward, dribbling forward, and he looks inside for Pasquato. And there's Fornals. Fornals is driving up the pitch. Can he get across him? We do have numbers in the box, but he can't. He's, the ball is taken off him by Canate, and Liverpool will bring it forward. And Liverpool are playing it around at the back. We are not counter-pressing them. We're going to let them bring it out. And there is very little point in us pressing them because we'll just be running around like headless chickens and we want to try and win the ball around about the halfway line somewhere around here we need to be more pressing around about here rather than way back and there is a long ball over the top looking for Salah Salah and he's going to put look for a cross he looks for Jota Jota in the penalty area we've given away a penalty and now it's going to be 2-0 as we have given Salah a golden opportunity and I've asked them to stay on their feet and not to go jumping in and the penalty is awarded Liverpool are a far superior team at the moment than we are and I will have to look at things at half time and try to change things as Liverpool are now 2-0 up this is not what I wanted to see today it's not how I thought the low block was going to work today it it seemed to work against lesser teams 
when and became, became very useful when they were trying the long ball over the top. But I don't think that it can be used just to defend against teams like Liverpool. And if you go behind, you're going to have to change things. And here is Cresswell, though, with a free kick. And that's a header that's come off the crossbar. And what about that for a penalty, referee? As somebody went bundled over in the box there, but the referee didn't like the look of that and said, play on. And I, I think it should have been a penalty myself. But we are coming up to half time. We're 2 0 down. And I'm going to do something here. Um, we're going to go to our tactics and we're going to change it. We're going to go back to the 4 the four two three one, and we're going to just try and surprise Liverpool we're going to completely do things different. I'm going to say uh, you haven't been good enough and uh, let's send them out with their tails between their legs. And uh, it is um, West Ham with the first highlight and here is Fornals. Fornals looking to get down the left and he's looking inside but that's another poor pass and it is a theme of FM23 is that you're going to see a lot more mistakes from players ball control, passing there's a lot more going on on the pitch that never happened in FM22 I think I like it um, because it does give it a more real helter-skelter feel to the game but here come Liverpool Liverpool are looking to drive forward but it's taken off them by the West Ham defence and Pasquati he finds Fornals Fornals and we've got a man in acres of space Bowen Bowen is charging forward he is in acres of space can he get a shot in he looks for a shot and it is a great save and Becker then just fires the ball long upfield we've come we've We've given a better account of ourselves in the second half. Liverpool are clearly the better team and they do have a set piece and they are attacking the set piece at the far post and has the referee ruled that offside? We are either going to go three down or the referee, he's checking VAR and I think it might be awarded. We had men on the post, I think, and the goal is awarded. It is now 3-0 and we are in all sorts of trouble. <laughs> and I wasn't expecting this result but Liverpool are a very very good team and I think now it's probably time to make some changes we'll just wait for this corner as Cresswell drills in the corner and that comes back out to Cresswell get that ball back into the box and he does and it's headed on and Liverpool are defending really resolutely and there's a shot that's saved easily and we are unable to break Liverpool down we are not good enough at the back and we are deservedly 3-0 behind. And here is Becker. Becker's looking to roll the ball out. We've tried this half to put more pressure on them, be more attacking ourselves. It hasn't paid off. I think we are probably going to be in for a bit of a thumping here. As Cresswell picks the ball up, he finds Zuma. Zuma's looking long, but again, it's a poor pass. And it's picked up, though. It was a poor defensive header. Fornals is driving, and that is a terrible, terrible shot from Fornals. And it remains 3-0 to Liverpool. Let's make some changes. And so we have made a few changes and hopefully bringing some fresh legs onto the pitch, it might help. But I, I can't see any way back into this game. It's been a hiding and we've got to learn from that and move on. Um, we are not as good as Liverpool and this is pretty much showed in this game. And here is Elliot. He's got acres of space and nobody's closing him down. But it was a great save by Ariola. I do, I do like the way the goalkeepers move in FM23. It, it makes it um, so... Oh, we have since Kurt Zuma now, who's extremely tired. I only have Flynn Downs to bring on. And so we're going to bring Flynn Downs on at centre-back. He's not a centre-back. And it's unfortunate that I took off um, Kurt Zuma, who was having a dreadful game. Uh, I took off a Bonner who was having a dreadful game and then suddenly find that the other was exhausted but we have scored we have got ourselves a goal Scamacha has scored in the 80th minute 3-1 doesn't seem so bad and suddenly out of nowhere Johnson just picked up the ball fed him Bowen Bowen went outside his man little flick inside and Scamacha like the forward that he is, like the good striker that he is, on hand to poke it home. 3-1, I think, flatters us. We've had a bit of a pasting, 
and uh, I think 3-1 scoreline actually flatters us. We did um, play better in the second half when we were more positive, when we were attacking more. And I think maybe the low block is for teams who do play a very, very direct game. Or maybe when you're um, try holding on to a result and teams are trying to play long passes. But here's another chance, and Scamacha's in again, and Scamacha has made it 3-2. But was he offside? I've got a funny feeling he might have been offside. And this, if he's not offside, though, it will make it very interesting now. And the goal has been disallowed. Scamacha was just offside, I think. But for a moment, he thought we were back in this game. And yeah, he was a yard or so offside. Unfortunate. Um, but for one minute, my eyes lit up there. I thought, hey, we could find a way back into this game. We've drawn the second half. We've played better when we were more positive. And it is full time. Liverpool have beaten West Ham by three goals to one we are very very disappointed um, but we were the underdogs we are not as good a team as they are but we really need to be looking at maybe we shouldn't be playing the long block the low block against bigger teams just go out there be more positive um, it was worth trying but it didn't pay off we were better in the second half and we do have a busy month coming up um, we've got as I said before lots of games to play and uh, we'll come back um, in at the beginning of October in episode 3 where we will be playing Bournemouth and that's it for this video if you are new to the channel why not subscribe like watch and comment help the channel to grow help us to support the very worthwhile cause you can see scrolling above and um, for this episode it's over we've been well beaten by Liverpool it's a very very disappointed West Ham camp and I will bid you all farewell and we'll see you in episode 3